Show us a shoulder now with a rotator cuff tear, if you can uh, explain that to us, because we hear that a lot. Thank you, Olga. So, uh, rotator cuff um, tears are a very common presentation um, at the clinic, and it's a very common shoulder injury. Um, as you see here in the model, um, this area kind of um, coming down through this area here, um, where we see kind of uh, this red area here is muscle. This white kind of area here is tendon. And, and the reason why it's displayed in white, usually in, in textbooks and, and, and different visuals, is because, like I mentioned before, it's an avascular area. It's, it's, it doesn't have as much um, blood supply. It's not completely avascular, meaning um, it has no blood supply, but there is less blood supply in that area. So it's more prone to injury, obviously. And when it does become injured, it takes longer to heal. Um, here we see where the tendon is coming across and kind of connecting into the humerus area, which would be the lateral side of the, of the arm here. And we see obviously a, a pretty significant tear here, and that looks pretty much like a full tear um, of the tendon there. And I, and I would assume that um, this type of injury here where you see the tearing coming off of the bone um, would result in a sur surgical case um, where the per person would have to um, undergo surgery to repair that um, tendon and then obviously um, undergo extensive rehab afterwards. What are those two little bubbles, Edward, on top of that? Good question. Um, so these two areas that look like two, two bubbles um, are actually what they call um, bursas. And bursas are basically um, fluid-filled um, sacs that are sitting between bone and, and, and soft tissue. And what it does, basically, is it cushions the, the, the area and, and prevents friction or frictional forces um, to become too, um, too much along the area. Um, but this is another area that can become injured. Um, and what happens is when there's a lot of friction going on in that area, um, whether it be because of repetitive movements, overuse injuries, or anything like that, you get irritation in these sacs. And what happens is these sacs fill up with a lot of liquid, and that's what's also termed as bursitis, which is another common term that you hear many times um, with shoulder injuries.